Also have new fallout today over the Supreme Court's decision to strike down the Defense of Marriage Act yesterday. That ruling gives same-sex couples who live in states that do recognize their marriages the same federal benefits as straight couples. In a ripping dissent to the decision, Justice Scalia says that Justice Anthony Ken Kennedy, who's always the swing vote in these cases and sided in this case with the liberals, and his colleagues in the majority, the five, it was a 5-4 decision, have resorted to calling opponents of gay marriage, quote, enemies of the human race. Joining me now, Simon Rosenberg, who's the president and founder of NDN, a think tank, and a former campaign advisor to President Clinton, and Ben Shapiro, who's a syndicated columnist and editor-at-large of Breitbart News. Gentlemen, welcome. And so the, the complaint by Scalia and by others who had, are taking issue with the wording in the majority opinion is that Justice Kennedy and the four liberals who joined with him in this majority opinion are dismissive of those who don't support gay marriage, talking about how DOMA was motivated by a, quote, bare congressional desire to harm a politically unpopular group, and talking about how the law inflicts a, quote, injury and indignity on gay couples. And the point they're trying to make is half the country feels some objection or some wariness about gay marriage, and there's no reason to disparage their motives and feelings on such a sensitive issue. Ben, I'll start with you on it. Well, it's pretty clear that uh, the majority opinion believes that this law was designed to degrade and to demean the gay community. Uh, the goal being, of course, to cast everybody who is a proponent of traditional marriage as unreasonable. The, the mayor of San Francisco expressed it well today in celebrating the DOMA decision. He came out today and he said, this is a triumph of love over ignorance. Well, that was just a simpler way of saying exactly what Justice Kennedy said in this majority opinion, which is, we're the bad guys if we are for traditional marriage, and there's no rational reason on why we would... Why we would prefer traditional heterosexual marriage over homosexual marriage. He goes on, Kennedy does, to write that, that the Defense of Marriage Act humiliates tens of thousands of children being raised by same-sex couples, makes it difficult for children to understand the integrity and closeness of their own family, and goes on and on and on. And, and the, you know, the criticism, Simon, is that's how you feel, but, but should a high court be concluding that as a matter of law and striking down a statute? Well, Megan, you're a lawyer and I'm not, so I'm sure you'll correct me if I get this wrong, but by using the Equal Protection Clause and by declaring DOMA to have been discriminatory, uh, it was it essentially implies all the things that you said, that there was discrimination going on against a class of Americans that's protected by the Constitution. And so whether Scalia's uh, characterization of what happened uh, yesterday is accurate or not, the court is on record. This is now the law of the land. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, I, for one, am cheering the decision. But I also understand why there are many Americans who are going to struggle with this. This is a big change in our country. It's happened quickly. Uh, but, you know, right now, if you look at polling, right, there's a majority of Americans are comfortable with us moving in this direction. Uh, and I think, you know, I think you're going to see many more states legalize gay marriage in the coming years. If, if you look at the latest Fox News polling, um, how do you feel about legalizing same-sex marriage? 46% uh, favor, 47% oppose. Yeah. Um, and then on the, on the question of whether there is a constitutional right to it, 52% say yes, there is, and 45% say no, right. there is not. So the polling is showing an evolving society on this issue, yep. Ben. But the question is, does Justice Kennedy and do some on the left who have unlike Simon here today, resorted to rhetoric talking about ignorance and so on if you don't favor gay marriage, you know, do they risk alienating the very people they most hope to convince? Of course. I mean, the, the idea of calling everybody a villain who disagrees with you, which is sort of the basis for the gay rights movement in America at this point in time, uh, of course it's going to create polarization between the two sides. But what we've seen here, and this is where I really, you know, I'm off the rails with the left. I don't understand this. Uh, the left is celebrating this decision from a tyrannical Supreme Court that has decided to moralize from the bench. If we were talking about precisely the reverse, let's say that there was a law that passed that, that enshrined same-sex marriage into law at the state level, and Justice Scalia had written a decision talking about how traditional morality has long dictated that heterosexual marriage is of value and homosexual marriage is not, then the left would be declaring about a tyrannical Supreme Court overstepping the bounds of the Constitution. Of course, now when the Constitution is used as a club to wield against half of Americans, then the left celebrates. Well, Simon, a lot of people feel that the Supreme Court, when it, when it does sort of what the left wants it to do, and they, they call that judicial activism, that, that, that it's, <laughs> it's going to get praised, uh, you know, on something like this. They think it, that it, you know, may have done better to, to not weigh in on this. And then, on the other hand, you look at decisions like 
Brown versus Board of Education, where right. you know if they hadn't weighed in on that, who knows how long it would have taken for you know us to get rid of separate but equal in this country. Well, and I think it's not really fair to call it the left, because there are plenty of Republicans who support gay marriage, and in fact. You know, the chief, ju the justice who wrote the opinion yesterday was appointed by a Republican president. So it's, I, I think it's unfair to characterize this as being so left and right. I mm -hmm. think there's a lot in the middle, and this is getting worked through. I will say that, Megan, just to reaffirm what you just said, is that Democrats were very upset the day before this decision, just two, you know, two days ago, about the Voting Rights Act decision, which was a piece of legislation passed just recently in the last couple of years with overwhelming bipartisan support that the Supreme Court gutted. So it, what was interesting, the Democrats on, you know, on Tuesday, right, were upset about the court overreach. And on Wednesday, the Republicans were upset about mm -hmm. the court over, uh, overreaching. So I think they've managed to, uh, you know, Alienate make everyone. everybody, right? Which means they're doing their job. <laughs>